Please state your name. Yes, Sam Smith. And Sam, uh, are you currently employed? I am. Sam, where do you work? I am the manager of the Greendale Bank. And uh, Sam, where do you? What are your responsibilities at the Greendale Bank? Well, it's managing accounts. It's making sure the bank's daily operations run smoothly. Um, you know, making sure the finances balance, uh, things of that nature. <coughs> and on a day-to-day -day basis. How often would you say you have an occasion to interact with the customers at the bank? Oh, very often. And we make every effort because we're a small community bank to get out and meet the, the, the customers of our bank. And did you know Mary? Yes, I did. How long had you known Mary? For about five years. And did you know Mary's niece? Yeah. Yes. Had you ever met the plaintiff in this case? Yes, I had. When had you met him? Oh, he'd come into the bank from time to time to help Mary with her banking. And on one of those occasions, did he come in and try to withdraw a substantial amount of money? I don't recall exactly. Would it help refresh your memory if I told you that he had come in and attempted to withdraw $40,000? Perhaps. He did withdraw funds from time to time, so that, that may be a possibility. I don't remember the exact amount. <coughs> I'd like to draw your attention to the date that we're here for, which is a date um, in which Mary came to the bank. And I'd like you to tell the jury what Mary said to you when she got to the bank. Yes, Mary had said she wanted to change the ownership on her account, uh, and, and that she'd like to prepare the forms to, to do that. Um, her niece, Kathy, did most of the, the talking. And, and that was about all, and I helped them carry out that procedure. And you had said you helped them carry out that procedure. Does the bank have procedures in place? Yes. And do some of those procedures relate to situations like this where customers want to change the account holder's name? Yes, of course. We have a, a checklist that we go through to make sure that all the documentation is done correctly. Generally, the owner has to sign a form and we go uh, present identification, give a social security number, things of that nature. And I go through the checklist with every customer and make sure that all of the um, T's are crossed and I's are dotted, so to speak. Could you please tell uh, us for the jury what that checklist consists of? Yes, it, uh, presents, it consists of giving identification, signing the form, it's a change of ownership form, uh, by both parties, um, uh, giving an account number, giving a proper name, and generally consenting to the change of ownership on the account. And is there a requirement in your procedures where you, as the representative of the bank, need to make a, an assessment of the mental capacity of the person requesting the changes? We don't generally make that kind of assessment, but it's fairly clear from speaking with somebody that they are uh, mentally competent to make these decisions. And was it fairly clear from speaking with Mary in this case that she was competent to add Kathy to the account? Yes. Do you have any doubt in your mind whether or not she was competent? No doubt whatsoever. And it's your testimony that you believe Mary wanted Kathy to be on this account? Objection. The reason for the objection, counsel? Uh, his state of mind is irrelevant. Uh, sustained. You <coughs> heard Mary say that she wants Kathy to be placed on this account. Objection leading. Uh, sustained. <laughs> Have you ever lived with Kathy? Yes. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that relationship? Well, uh, we lived together. We were roommates uh, several years ago. And we, we lived together for approximately a year. Um, you know, 
and it, there's there's not much more than that. We're Kath, friends. During that time living together, how would you describe, in your words, Kathy's ability to manage her personal finances? Well, she had, you know, frankly, she had trouble from time to time. Uh, occasionally, I would give her loans to pay rent and that sort of thing. Did Kathy always pay those loans back? Most of the time. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Counsel. Cross examination. Sam, isn't it true that you and Kathy were actually a lot more than roommates? Well, we dated on and off. So you had a romantic relationship at one point, isn't that true? Yes, again, we dated on and off. And before Kathy <coughs> went to move in with Mary, she lived with you, didn't she? Yes. Okay. Now, isn't it true, Sam, that during the time that you knew Mary, her mental capacity declined? I, I don't know if I can make that determination. When she came in the bank, generally she was uh, very coherent. Um, you know, certainly she, she had good days and bad days, but... So sometimes she had bad days, isn't that true? Her, her mind would wander occasionally, but, but nothing... If you would just different. answer the question, sir. Sometimes she would have bad days, yes. isn't that true? And by bad days, you mean sometimes she did not interact in a coherent way, isn't that true? Well, she tended to ram ramble a little bit, but generally she seemed to be with it. Okay, but sometimes she was not with it. Isn't that true? Yes. Now, you're familiar with Tom, the executor, correct? Yes. And it was your testimony that sometimes Tom had helped Mary with her banking. Isn't that correct? Correct. And isn't it true that when Kathy was put on the account, she helped Mary with her banking? Isn't that correct? Correct. She had came and she made deposits on behalf of Mary. Correct. And she made some small withdrawals on behalf of Mary. Correct. And that she functioned much like Tom had when he was on the account. Isn't that true? Yes, that's true. Okay. Now, I believe you testified that when Kathy brought Mary to the bank to have her name put on the account, that Kathy did most of the talking. That was your testimony, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Okay. And isn't it true when you asked Mary whether she wanted to put Kathy on the account, that Mary just nodded. Isn't that true? That's true. And Mary did not respond affirmatively with a yes, did she? Well, her nod was, was a yes. She didn't articulate it. <coughs> so Mary did not specifically articulate when she was at the bank that she wanted Kathy on the account, did she? Again, she nodded when I asked her the question if she wanted Kathy on the account. Was this one of her good days or her bad days? She, uh, she seemed very with it. She spoke to me about the Red Sox. Uh, she, she talked to me about her, her niece and how talented she was and other things. So she seemed to be with it. But you were talking about putting her name on the account, and isn't it true that Mary was more interested in talking about the Red Sox? Isn't that true? Yes, but that's not unusual. She would speak about a lot of different things, including the Red Sox. She was a big fan. Now, you never explained to Mary that in the event of her death, Kathy would be the owner of the account, did you? I did not, although that is printed on our form that she did sign. Now, Mary suffered from macular degeneration when she died. Did you know that? I was not aware of that. Okay. And Mary was legally blind for a period of time. Did you know that? I knew she occasionally had trouble with her eyesight, but I did not know she was legally blind, no. Okay. And nevertheless, you did not explain to her that in the event of her passing, Kathy could be deemed the legal owner of the bank account, did you? No, but again, I presented all the forms and asked her to read them carefully before signing. Now, Kathy, your former girlfriend, she's had a lot of financial problems over the years, hasn't she? Um, just from what I observed when we lived together. And, and from when you were dating, you knew that she had financial problems, correct? Correct. And Kathy fancies herself as an artist, correct? Uh, yeah, she, she is an artist, yes. And Kathy doesn't have a conventional job, a nine-to-five type job like you or I, does she? Well, it's a different kind of job. She's an artist, yes. And but she has trouble generating income. Isn't that a fair statement? Occasionally, yes. 
And as a result of her trouble generating income and meeting her financial obligations, you've had to give her a number of loans over the years. Isn't that correct? Yes, I lend her money as a, as a friend. And she hasn't paid you back all of that money, has she? She has not. And is it fair to say that she still owes you money? Yes, she does. No further questions. Thank you very much, Council.